somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight the time has finally come and we are wrapping up Midnight Mass. Oh. This is episode seven, Revelation. I don't think it's going to end well. I think the whole town is done for and uh, the vamps might even spread out. Who knows? But all I know is that these series have been fantastic and I can't wait to wrap this one up. Oh, it's, it's, it's gonna feel like John Wick 4, like they gotta run around and <laughs> try to survive until the sun comes <laughs> up. Because once the sun comes up, then all they have to do is hang out on the beach. Find a boat. And once the sun goes down, then it's bad again. But once they get to the beach, find a boat, roll, whatever. I'm pumped. I can't wait to see how this is resolved. I don't know how any person who's not technically a vamp yet survives. So I'm looking to uh, see how this goes. Let's go! Oh boy, here we go. Why do I feel? <gasps> she survived? He just No, is that somebody different? No, that's the mom. That's the mom. But her hair is completely brown. Yeah, I suppose now and that she's... see the neck? Yeah. yeah. Wow. She's a... Oh, maybe she... Now she maybe she helps and sacrifices herself? Mm. Well, she's going to be pretty hungry right now. Yeah, look at her eyes. She's got the pitch black eyes. Okay, so father's father going to be back up? Uh, I don't think he's going to be real happy. He wanted the doors closed. He wanted hey, everybody does to... does he have some wings? He wanted everybody to come back too. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yep. Because he wanted to explain everything to everybody in yep. his whole plan. Now it's, now it's just total chaos. We still have yet to talk about how, like, they used religion as this mask. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have for to get into a, too detail yeah, on but that. For a but. vampire story, really, you know? Did it ever hurt you? Yes. Zero gray hair. See, they've known each other for years yeah. and years. Oh, boy. Oh, it's just going to no. be... Oh, it's like Fright Night or something. It's just a slaughter. Oh, it's yeah. starting to hit him? Please go in the basement or something. Figure out something. Pulling people out of their houses. We've got to get out of here. Well, what did they do to him? Eddie. You, what happened to my what did dad? They do? You studied this thing, all right? You, you said you had samples. I didn't. I, 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 I had to quiet. Know. This is like true, bro. They can hear like miles. Does anyone have service? Get away from the window. Phones, power. They're cutting us off. Boats. I don't think it gets anybody to the mainland, but off the island, at least. My parents are out there. They'd have to come with us, right? <laughs> well. Sarah, you said it was a contagion. If just one of them, just one of mm -hmm. them makes it to the mainland. <laughs> He's just a little <laughs> revolver. He's old school. What's this going to do? What's any of this going to do? The guns and knives. Maybe it buys us a few more minutes, and it might come down to just minutes, maybe seconds. I think Aaron's thinking about taking out their way to get off the island. Mm-hmm. First things, we have to get you kids to safety. No, we can help. No. No. What if we head to the beach and hug the shoreline to the upwards, and you take the canoe and you paddle out as a... No! <laughs> maybe she's done. She's in there. Well, Aaron's not going to make it. She's going to sacrifice herself to take out Bev. Yeah, to uh, buy the others some time, maybe. Wow, one by one, they're going to go down. I love you, Mom. So much. <sighs> wow. I just want to have a little chat with Aaron Green and Sarah Gunning, maybe that terror-loving sheriff, if he's still with them. Yeah, they're all in there. Two children, two. The children will be fine. They're already saved. 
You don't think I would ever put those children in any real danger. <laughs> God loves him just as much as he loves you, Bev. Why does that upset you so much? Just the idea that God loves everyone just as much as you. She's stalling. Check her on back. Oh! Oh! It's okay. It's okay. You're going to be all right. Well, she was drinking the communion. Yep. You'll be up and about in no time. Bev's going to be thirsty. Oh, she's going to oh, drink it dry. She, yeah, she's had a taste. Yep. Oh, buying time. Mm -hmm. Minutes. But if I'm honest, then there's no point in being anything else anymore. It was you. It was you. And Sarah. That's why I did it. That's why I put that thing in that trunk. That's why I... Put that thing in the trunk. Not an angel. No, the rest of them too, of course. No. I mean, our whole lives have been wasted. And I mean, just staring across the church. You know, I've been too scared to tell our own daughter the truth. Our, our own, own daughter? daughter? What? You never like a sin in our daughter. Oof, no, she was never a sin. She was never a mistake. It all makes so much sense now. What a reveal. If you just show up and ask me, I would have taken this collar off. I would have gone with you anywhere in the world. I was never going to do that, John. Not to you. Or to her. Not to him. I wasn't going to ruin four lives. That's one way to look at it. Uh, we, then we could be a family this stuff. Can you think of a miracle more amazing than that? I'm mean, curious. <laughs> You were blind in a sure part the seas, all right, but a second chance. That's a miracle. Is that what this whole thing was about? Yep, he just loved her. Help! 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 We have to go. Now. Yeah, just run. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Raghead. Oh. oh boy, now they're all oh. gonna hear. Oh man. She's plucked. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh Sherry. Uh. Oh, you let him <laughs> off. Yeah. For now. Lisa. Yeah. He knows they're not going anywhere. Oh, Jesus. It's old Flanders. You guys just split up? We gotta put out this fire. With this wind, it's like a tinderbox. The whole thing could burn nope. to nothing like an 84. We know we can burn them. Let all of it burn. Don't they say vampires smell like sulfur? Isn't that one of the things? A flood of fire in St. Patrick's will be the ark. The citizens of Croc, the good citizens, they know where to go in a storm. Pick that up. Come with me. Yep. Gonna start more. Mm -hmm. Told you, Vamp Bev. She's out of control. Way more than before. Give her a little like <laughs> superpower. Yep. Oh, they didn't drink her dry. No. Okay. Yeah, because even the ones in the church, they still got up. So you know, now I'm starting to see the picture a little bit more. Mom and Dad and Sarah. Are gonna help because it's the only way that anyone stands a chance yeah. is by having vamps versus vamps. Oh, they're at Joe's. Yeah. Oh, and that's the that's the rifle that was used. No, remember he said he tossed. Oh, that's right. Away. You're right. You're right. Minutes. Ocean. Yeah, what a good use of his place now. Yeah. Good job, Lisa. Yeah. In case there's a boat, maybe with an engine, a speedboat or something. All right, good thinking. I think we're going to make it. <laughs> That's not what I said. I'm saying either way, we're going to be okay. okay. I think we've she, the, shown we can burn them. Well, they drink communion, so. Yeah, that's right. She's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, wouldn't you, you just see now see that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wouldn't they see the fires from the mainland? They're burning it down. Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. A 
Look at all that. Yeah, all the fuel cans. I hope the kids made it to the boat. Ah, bolt cutters. Coming real handy. We're never going to know, are we? Probably not. <laughs> At least they're having a real conversation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm deciding they did. Did Sarah drink the communion? Oh, her. Yeah. No. Doc didn't. I didn't think so. Okay. And the sheriff obviously didn't either, so... Oh, they're going to torch all the boats so they can't make mm -hmm. it to the mainland. Yep, so that they're at least stuck here on the island, and then hopefully the sun comes up. There's no buildings, so they're going to burn them all down, so maybe there's a chance the sun will take care of them. Lisa! Lisa, honey! Oh, there's a dead body in there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're finally. Are we gonna finally oh, the see the, uh, and rats. the kid? Maybe. that got taken. Maybe the one that was. Because that was the house. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. It's all the animals. Yep. And well, that's at least one because there was two, right? So yeah. the guy and the kid on the bike. Yep. And then. And there's the other yeah. one. Yeah. Wow. Finally. <laughs> oh no 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 no. No, 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 no. Torch that sucker. You got the gas, right? He's still feeding. That's not going to work. Torch him. Oh, it is so hyper-focused yeah, on feeding. Yeah, it doesn't even feeding. care. <laughs> He's like, get out of here. Other people are going to hear that, though. Yep. There you go. That's my girl. Get the gas. It's not going to do anything. How they took out Riley. Well, the sunlight took uh, out Riley. Yeah. It's, it's two different things. Gasoline and daylight are two totally different things for vampers. Oh, it's well, an experiment. Yeah. And, uh, well, in yeah, this I mean, world, try it. In this world. Try it out. Knows? Torch the sucker. Maybe I am forgetting something. Either that or it's going to be really pissed. You know, your father's oh. worried sick. Well, just pissed off the vampire, so. <laughs> Spread the word. Anyone not in the rec center by sunrise won't see another. Hit the empties, trailers, everything, all of it. Dawns are coming. I can't believe they're just trash and everything, but yeah. it makes sense because they're trying to get off the island anyway, so. Yep. All because of her. Yep. Not even one ounce of this would have been Father Paul. And they're all coming to Bev's rec center where she embezzled all the money. It's yep. Just what she wants. She's trying to be God. Mm. Are you guys getting that vibe? Yeah, or trying to be Jesus or have her apostles or whatever. Oh, he just mm. saw the boats. <laughs> Oh, that's right, Father Paul. Yep. Or John. You're up. Praise be. And you too. Oh, he is not happy mm. with her. He blotted out every living thing on the face of the ground. Human beings, animals, creeping things, birds. <laughs> <of> the... <laughs> <laughs> we will decide who's chosen. We will. You and me. <laughs> of course. That isn't up to me. It's between them and God, isn't it? Oh, what a cool shot of them coming in, though. Look at them. They're, they're lost without a leader, without a shepherd. Bev's going to take out Paul. Or Paul's going to take out her. It's always been you. No, it was never me. That's the thing about priesthood. It's never supposed to be about me. It's supposed to be about God. Well, I suppose it isn't you anymore. Oh, Jesus himself, he warned us against the scribes, against the priests. And Matthew, do not call anyone on earth father. You have one father, and he is in heaven. Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, vipers brood. Wow, look mm. at her. Monsignor Pruitt, did it have to be true of you? I suppose virtue isn't a virtue if it doesn't cost you anything. You were always going to be the last, the hardest test of my faith, you. Oh, boy. 
You are a stumbling block to me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human mother of whores and all of Earth's abomination. I truly hope you two enjoy the sunrise. Someone take out Bev. <laughs> Troll. Nothing. We're ready for them. We need an accurate head count so we know how many boats we need tomorrow. They, they burn the boats. <laughs> Listen, no matter. Wade will call back the fairies. He'll just call them back. Cut the phone lines. I think it's implied they burned everything else and mm -hmm. without the boats. I love you, Mom. Lord, keep them safe and watch over them and touch their hearts. And make it so they won't worry. I keep waiting for him to come over the hill. Amen. I don't think we have to worry about these two. If I had known at that dinner, the last dinner, I would have been different. I know. Do you think uh, they're going to burn the church in the rec center? That's what I think. Uh, either the parents or uh, Father John's going to do once they're all inside. I don't think I ever saw you at Mass a day in your life. You were blessed tonight, weren't you? Oh, she's going to choose. I killed my Julie tonight. You killed your wife. That's my boys. I killed my boys. I hate to tell you this, but you <sighs> could have brought them back. You could have saved them easily. In fact, if you had been a man of faith. Jesus. Oh, can we get rid of Bev? <laughs> I saved him, Bev. He was, was always nice to me. Maybe, uh, maybe you could just uh, watch watch the sunrise. John's gonna take him in. This monstrous. Bring him in. You follow me, son. You're welcome in St. Patrick's. I'll He's have to be welcome, or this isn't really a god's house. He's gonna get them all in there. Ooh, what was this? It's his daughter. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't, don't. You were right. They're burning the church. You go through the vestibule head for the water. That was the idea. He's going to start <laughs> it. Look, yep. he's got the candle. I'm sorry. We never told you, your mother and I, but I, I love you so much. No, I've been so proud of you, and I just wish I just wish that, that we had gotten to know each other. Me too. Out of the back. I'll take care of you. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to save her. He's going to save her. Well, man, is that what he wants? Sarah, baby. John. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, yes. All right. No, she doesn't want it. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want it. Damn. When she was a little girl. Her favorite place on the whole island it was that little bridge by the marsh. That little, that little bridge. He's gonna tip it, isn't he? She will. She will. Okay, so now is this motivation for them now to take out the rest of them? Well, all that's left now is the rec center. How has anyone allowed Bev to get this far? <laughs> He's done. Yep. He's done. Stop! Oh! Pretty sure it's the last one left. <sighs> oh, they're all going to be hungry for that. Oh! Well, she'll be fine. She had communion. Oh. Not exactly what she wanted, though. Whoa, we just lost Aaron? Seriously? Boy. No. Oh, well, well, well. Now what are you going to do? What now, Bev? Suck it, Bev. I mean, I I'll probably have to edit that. What? <laughs> now, Bev. No, you don't edit that out. You leave it. I'll leave it in for Patreon. <laughs> it's 
It doesn't even care. When it can't fly. Yeah, it can't leave the island. Oh. Yeah. Get rid of that. But, but wouldn't it, it just heal itself? I don't know. I think that's the point. Where, where else can we go? There's got to be somewhere else. There's not. The boats. Boats are gone, Beth. You're welcome, Bev. <laughs> You're welcome. At rec center. That's she embezzled all that money. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's too busy feeding. Yeah. He's too phased out. By the time the sun comes up, he can't fly. He can't fly away. And he's toast. Yep. Not enough time to heal. No. Damn, it still worked. Well, not as effective, but he still went up, up, and away. Uh, not as good, but... Dude, he's flying all over that fire. He's going to crash. <laughs> it's heading west. It's running. It's running from the sunrise. Yep. Look at that! Oh, over the ocean. Yeah. For the sunrise? Nope. 30 miles. Uh, <laughs> nope. I think it can barely fly it. Yeah. No, I I don't think it can. Well, how fast is it healing though? Yeah. When we die. And what the fuck happened? Speaking for myself, I'm returning. I'm returning home. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's going to be... He'll... <sighs> there is no time. There is no death. Life is a dream. It's a wish. Made again and again and again and again and again and again. And I am all of it. Not trying to ruin the moment, but I felt like we had a little bit of 80s wrestling promo in that with <sighs> Macho Man and Hogan. <laughs> This is going to hit hard because he took his wife's death yep. really hard. Mm -hmm. And he's going to watch his son go in front. Well, he's going to go at the same time, probably. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it out with those uh, shots he took. He's going right here. Get her off the screen. <laughs> now, I want to see her uh, get torched. Yeah, I, I want to see her perish, but... <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, there might be room underneath that bridge to avoid the sun. Burn! Come on! <laughs> Quit teasing it. Yeah, <laughs> she, she, see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're all singing. It's like the band playing as the Titanic <laughs> goes down. They're at peace, yep. but not Bev. Look at that. So kind of to your theory now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, poor kid. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> evil, evil Bev. In the news. Oh, they're not even going to show it. You know, kudos for only just giving us the tease of it happening. And then yeah, sometimes that's better. You know, the, the problem is, once you've had the communion blood, you can still never pass on. I think when you die, you, you come back. Yeah, you life. come yeah. back as a, as a vamp. So right now, they're not at their, their peak. I can't feel my legs. <gasps> they're wearing off? Oh, because maybe because the king vamp is gone. Oh, no. Yeah, because there's no way he made it out of there. They didn't show it, though. It went away. I mean, that's... It's got to be because... That means that she's... Yeah. Well, that's the resolution to it all. Yeah, the, the, two. and the big vamp didn't make it. He got burned in the sun, so whatever he did is gone. You know, that's tricky, though, because 
they showed him flying away at night. Yeah. Now I know they're they said the writing is there to you know leave your own interpretation, but we didn't see we it. Didn't see we it. Saw everyone else. <laughs> yep. We did not see the uh, the big vamp go down. So uh, who okay. knows? That is going to be like probably my only hang up of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just go right into this. And then there's Arnold. <laughs> yeah. Hanging out on the beach with no fear of the sun. Well, I guess you could start, uh, Quinn. Huh? Yeah, well, hey. It did not disappoint, folks. Midnight Mass was absolutely fantastic. Um, I guess I'll get it out of the way right off the bat of, and I'm sure maybe some of you out there took the same issue that I did, but I'm just thinking, well, I mean, there's got to be a couple pieces of plywood laying around or a wheelbarrow or, you know, some a, a pop-up canopy somewhere. I mean, something you could make, but as some kind of shelter as we saw Bev trying to dig on the beach. I think I just wanted to get that kind of nitpick out of the way right out, right away because they showed that whole island was burned and trashed. I and, think that was, yeah. And the, the the people of the island kind of came to the conclusion that, you know, because they were, they were there. They weren't running around scrambling, trying to find something to hide. They pretty much accepted their fate. So I think um, a nitpick like that can easily be, be overlooked and, and passed over. But, you know, wow, what a finish. We, like me and Diamond Dave said, we did not see the big vamp uh, go down. But if Lisa uh, was losing her, her ability to walk, she said he couldn't feel her legs. I think we can pretty much safely assume that he's gone and uh, whatever things might have happened because of him uh, get reversed. I believe that's how it works in the vampire lore. If you take out the head vampire, anybody that they infected is uh, brought back to normal. I believe that's how that lore goes. But wow, what a finish this series was. The acting was absolutely incredible. The writing was great. The sets, the the use of the visuals in this uh, series, especially over the others, I thought was just top notch. Um, I, I mean, man, Hill House was really good. I'm, a, man, those are like one A, one B for me. I think, and I, I, I might even give the edge to Midnight Mass a little bit. I think just because. Of, I really liked a lot of the acting on it. The the massive dialogues that so many of the actors went on, I thought were fantastic. And it, and it was a great kind of twist of a story. I mean, we were how many episodes in, and all of a sudden it turned into a, a vampire show. I, what, probably around episode, I think episode four, four or five or something like that? Yeah, so kudos to everybody involved. You guys crushed it. And I just hope that more people uh, watch this show and this whole series, really, because, man, there's a lot of good stuff out there to watch. I, d I just don't know if I can say enough about the quality of the acting um, that we had in this particular show. I mean, fr from everyone, um, you know, I, I said regularly in the first few episodes about, like, uh, you know, um, on Senior Pruitt, I mean, just like... Oh, this guy's acting like you know especially when he started having his first sessions with Riley and you know the way the way he talked and how soothing he was and how he was you know he was preaching but at the same time he came across like so down to earth and so relatable um look we we love to hate Bev right <laughs> yeah like we everybody uh, loves to hate Bev but, there with Dolores. but let's I I one thing that I don't want to do is because of how hated she was I don't want to overshadow how brilliant her performance was mm -hmm. because it really was I mean yeah. you take this this incredibly talented woman um Samantha Sloyan and tell her just <laughs> you, you have to be the worst <laughs> of the worst and she, uh, I mean, she some rocked her it. acting, I mean, was beyond brilliant. Um, Rahul Kohli, of course, we saw him as Owen in uh, in, in Bly Manor. Um, some of his monologues and some of the discussions he had with his son when he was discussing his mother and, and their religion. Of course, when he was talking about leaving um, the force in, NY, or in New York, the NYPD, his was brilliant. Um, you know, um, <laughs> Kate Siegel, she was brilliant. Um, Riley's character, I mean, Zach Guilford, I mean, I've never even heard of this guy no. before, and his, some of the monologues he had, he, you know, he came across with, you know, such depth, you could, you could like, feel the character's regret, I mean, just, just come right through the screen, I just, I, 
the acting and, and i mean let's talk about the writers too mm -hmm. i mean because, you gotta give you know, them the stuff to you work have with. to put on stuff on paper for these uh, these actors to work with and i mean the writing was brilliant it was it was a big curve for me i mean the first couple episodes it's like well where are they going with this you know like the blood you know and then you, know, you find out everybody's getting healed and you think there's all these miracles and then hey it's a vampire story but <laughs> here's what i i kind of want to discuss is that is it really a vampire story it's vampires is what we know from yeah. traditional lore as being vampires but like that's that's kind of like the weird thing i'm struggling with is like well was it a is was it a vampire story yeah i mean are they really mm -hmm. vampires i mean it, you know i mean is it something that like, you know, does that make sense? Like, it's vampires and what we traditionally have always seen as being vampires. But in the context of this story, take away the, you know, this is what we know of vampires, the drinking of the blood and the burning. It's like, is it, is it, like, I get it. It's supposed to be it's a vampire story, but is it in the context of this story? Um, you know, there's, there's so much that could be said, I guess, so many discussions that can be had, like from a religious standpoint with this particular show. Um, you, you know, there's a lot of yeah, just were, really, really tied in really heavy the moments, stories. you know, like all these, these people all thought when they got in that church on Easter, like they were there to watch another miracle. And then it was, they're all, <laughs> they're all drinking the rat poison and then they all come back to life and none of them can control themselves. And then they had that, you know, moment at the end, like, what are, like, what are we doing? What have we done? And, um, they all came to, uh, came to the realization really quick that they had messed up and that this was going to be the end for them. It was a very interesting last scene where Bev was panicking and digging, you know, mm -hmm. the one who was supposed to have the most faith in God, you know, and. And she was the one who was doing the panicking. Everybody else was just standing there. Um, but I think she had really thought, you know, through this whole process that she was going to have eternal life on earth. Yeah, I thought she was smarter than everybody else. Right? Like, I think that is what, what, like, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard for me, like, to get a little bit into, like, religious messages and stuff like that because it's not something that I really, one, prefer to do on this channel is to, is to try to get preachy one way or the other just um but it, it's interesting seeing you know the person who pretended to be holier than thou the whole time be the least at peace at the end mm -hmm. riley was at peace at the end um the mom aaron, his, well, yeah. his, mom, his, the mom or aaron was at peace at the whole end. community yep. they were all at peace when their time ended but Bev was not, which I thought was very interesting. I really feel, you know, I guess at the end of the day with this particular show, I really feel like any sort of wrap up that we do within the time frame of what we should be doing it <laughs> on YouTube isn't going to do it justice. I mean, this is honestly, this is something where like, I almost feel like this needs like its own like book club where we sit down for 30 minutes or an hour and I, I want a group discussion for as much as I like talking with these guys. I mean, I really hope that, um, you know, that uh, our schedule allows me to really dive into the comments on this one on Patreon and YouTube because I want to have discussions about this. So if I've ever encouraged somebody to drop comments below, please just your insights, your thoughts. Um, I'm 100% chance I'm going to be watching YouTube videos talking about the show, but I just I thought this was phenomenal. It was hands down my favorite of the three. Um, I, I enjoyed Hill House, Bly. I, there was a lot of things I really loved about Bly. I think just the very ending I didn't love, but I think it, I, I really liked Bly. But for me, this one was far and away the, the best of these uh, these three particular the series that we watched. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll roll right off of that, too. Uh, for me, I think Midnight Mass is going to edge out uh, Hill House just by a little bit. Uh, a lot more of a lot more dynamic. Not that Hill House didn't have a lot of dynamic. I feel like this just had a little bit more just because of it. the way they uh, Mike Flanagan and his team of writers wrote this out so well. Granted, now it was only seven episodes versus, uh, what, nine or ten that it was for Hill. So you, you do have to kind of have a bit more urgency with a few less episodes. But either way, uh, fantastic. So I see now why some of you in the comments are like, 
Midnight Mass is the best one out of the three. <laughs> Midnight Mass is my my second favorite uh, behind Hill. I know some did enjoy Bly more than these these two. Hey, whatever your preference is, that's fantastic. No no uh, knock on any of the three that might. Yeah, I mean they're all great. It's like arguing what yeah. flavor of ice cream is the best. Yeah, exactly. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Oh, they're all pretty good. You yeah, know, and preference. The uh, the reveals for this episode were uh, just fantastic yeah. like right down to the end <laughs> the, right. the, fa- the the priest and being John, sarah's yeah. father I yeah mean, what a what a reveal that was yeah, and then love yeah and i'm you know quick question i'm gonna i'm gonna be all over here quick question to you guys maybe you don't even have to answer just at least ponder it at least humor me and ponder it if uh you made it this far if you had a chance to live this eternal second chance life would you take it feel free to drop your comment or at least ponder it in your head because I, I find myself after listening to all this and kind of reflecting back on the seven episodes like doing like a pros and con list in your head at minimum is there yeah it's like well you know well i th- you know i think you know ironically it th- this question's been answered um there's a, a movie that uh, that i think we're gonna end up watching so i don't want to like i'm not even gonna throw it out there it's a spoiler movie about people aging and things like that but even in the even in the show invincible he talks about the very yeah. interesting point about being immortal everything that you you love will die as you continue your life i mean mm-hmm. imagine falling in love with somebody knowing you know there's going to become this giant um not necessarily age gap but gap uh, as far as physical abilities appearances all that and eventually they're going to die um, and it'll seem like the blink of It's that. Yeah, I mean, well, even, I mean if we case, look at, yeah. I mean, look, for as, for as much as we joke about it, I mean, we there's, you know, some, some you know, some substance in some of the plot of, uh, of Twilight. <laughs> and I mean, that was a big part, talk about it, that was a big part of why Bella wanted to, um, you know, turn as fast as she was because she wanted to be, you know, with that word and didn't want to age. And, you know, we saw her even have nightmares of, of uh, of you know Edward still you know being seventeen and her being uh, an older woman, so um, you know it's not even as much about aging and looks as it is like if you lived eternally, you would it would be this cycle of falling in love, then passing, falling in love, and then mm-hmm. passing, falling in love, and then passing, and it would just you know I feel like at some point we even saw in Twilight the one older gentleman with the longer hair that was part of the Voltori like he was just happy for it to be over at the end yep. you know I mean at, at some point it's like he, th- there's a lot to be said for coming to b- being at peace with, with you know this life ending you know and I, I think you know Aaron Green's last big speech it very f- much to me felt like um a circle of life speech yeah um, and whether you're religious or not um, I think the circle of life speech can be comforting you know we there's look, there's there's all that I, I like that she talked about the cosmos and the stars and the atoms and everything that is there was and you know we're made up of this vibrations and energy and, and I thought that was neat and if, like I said rather you're uh, religious or not, there there seems to be comfort in that speech. Just look, it's a, it's a circle of life. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful process that uh, you know we all get to be a part of, regardless of what your beliefs are. And uh, I think that was really neat. But I I, I gotta say, like I, I, I wouldn't want to be a mortal, you know. And it's perfect. Yeah. Well, and you know, nothing nothing's free. Right. If you want to be immortal, well, you can't go in the sunlight. You, you know, the, obviously all the drawbacks of <laughs> drawbacks of being a vampire. Right. <laughs> so nothing, nothing's free. You, you don't get anything, you know, uh, just handed to you. So it, it is, you know, something that a lot of movies have have talked about and kind of dove into the idea of immortality and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, for me, I th- that's a probably a hard pass for me as well. Uh, you know, it, it, I guess it's all in, you know, different beliefs and things you, what you perceive as, you know, what might happen at the end. But uh, yeah, to have to live through a life where if you just live for hundreds of thousands of years and it's like, you know, at what point, because 
I've said it on this channel before a million times that other people are the most important thing in life. Like you'll get bored of a Lamborghini, you'll get bored of a yacht, you'll get bored of even motorcycles if you can believe it. But people, <laughs> people are are what are important because they're they're like limitless in their depth. You can always talk to somebody and have ideas and that sort of thing and go back and forth. Where you know with any materialistic thing, you'll never get that. So. That's my wrap up on that, and it turned out uh, John did it all out of love. Yeah, he did, and it, I have to say it, Samantha Sloyan, uh, Sloyan, Yan, Samantha. Sorry for butchering your name. Fantastic job, Bravo! <laughs> on being one of the most hated characters I've yeah. had in a long time, you did it. It was an honor to love to hate you. Uh, she should have got some, it's some really big recognition for this role. I hope because uh, she crushed it it this. just it just seems like this whole trilogy it just it really gives actors a chance to really shine they give them some great material they it's not like quick cuts oh here you got 10 seconds to get this line out they really just let them do their craft and yeah i mean all, all all three of these series i think have really brought out some some brilliant acting and from some names that uh, you know, I wasn't familiar with, and um, you know, I, I would say of this series, you know, Riley's character, Bev's character, and, and uh, the sheriff's character were, were probably my favorite as far as mm -hmm. uh, the depth. But oh, yeah, I got, now I got to roll that back. Do you remember Lisa's speech? To yeah, Joe Colley <laughs> yeah, <in> the trailer. <laughs> I mean, that Lisa. was incredibly powerful. And even Joe Colley's character. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. you know, when he the, the the way he portrayed, you know, somebody who was supposed to just you know, kind of be somebody who battled substance abuse and their own problems. I mean, I, I just, I just, you know, it's so incredible to see a show like this and and just to see new faces so talented. I mean, it's it's yeah. it's 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 so it's so cool. I don't know if cool is the word, but it's so cool to to be introduced to new talents, whether it be music, whether it be acting, whether it be whatever you're into, to see somebody so wildly talented at something. It's just, uh, it's a great feeling, and, and this really brought that out. Absolutely. Yeah, bravo to all the actors, cast, and crew. Knocked yeah. it out of the park. Well, now the only question now is, what's next from uh, Mike Flanagan and crew? So, well, he has that oh, movie. He has yeah. that movie. He's got a, he's got a pretty big list, or uh, what, a what good acting list. Um, the comments. Well, you guys know. <laughs> you let us know in the comments. And you guys got the comments, so I'll show them on the computer later here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, this was a blast taking this ride with you for all uh, this whole Thank trilogy. You. Thank you. We Thank all you. enjoyed Thank it. You. We never, I never would have done it if not for all of you Damn. out there. So you know, that's something that's something to be said. I know. Again, we we said it a few times on some other reactions. Again, if you made it this far, awesome. We. I'll speak for me. I won't speak for you guys. I would not have checked out any of these episode uh, shows uh, by Mike Flanagan if it wasn't for this channel and all of you. One thousand percent, I'd be watching Breaking Bad or Walking Dead. Fear, still, you'd be watching Fear the Walking Dead. No, I won't be watching that. But uh, <laughs> that'd be my rewatch. So thank you all for uh, this channel yep. getting us here and uh, making awesome suggestions like these because again i'd be in my little lane of oh what should i rewatch watch again yeah, same <laughs> stuff yeah, yeah same old stuff well this is not the same old stuff so for diamond dave damone that's the appleton oak i'm mason quinn this has been bad medicine that was midnight mass we'll see you on the next one